I even, I'm even, you know, I'm starting to do things outside of class, like <laughs> trying to try, trying to strike up a conversation with a random girl and get her phone number, and that's terrifying for me. Mm -hmm. That's ter. But worst things happen. She laughs in my face and says, "No, who gives it?" That's what I've learned. I read an article in Psychology Today two weeks ago. And it said the top five things that people have regret on their deathbeds. This is after, you know, do you read this too? Number one, their number one regret is that they, they, they live their life based on what people thought. That they didn't do things because of what people thought. The number one regret on people's deathbeds, you know? So, yay. You know, it, it, that's what's so beautiful about um, this training. It challenges you to go to the center of who you are, to be as authentic and real as possible. With that comes authenticity, for sure. And, and it's, it's not some smooth ride. It's bumpy, no doubt. But... How wonderful that, I mean, even if you have to do it 10 times and just, and it keeps falling, you're full of fear, at some point, then it's the 11th time where you go, enough, enough, what the hell, right? Yeah. You know? So, good for you, Luke. Try, you get a brand new fresh baby for the most part. You get a brand new fresh baby, you do. And you can either starve the hell out of it of love, attention, security. Or you can just make it a pig, you can just overfeed it, make it a glutton, right? Or everything in between. But we do such a poor job, for the most part, of raising um, fearless, empowered, extraordinary babies. Fearless. You know, but it is what it is, and so at some point it's our job to, to get out of the mess. That's not what happened. We were raised by our parents who meant well, did the best they could. Even if their best sucked, there it was, and there it was. And so we, we get this, <clears throat> this crippled foundation, degrees, degrees, everyone's, you know, we all got our shit, right? Back to the point, in here, you gotta deal with that stuff. And that's what I love so much about this training. From day one, pretty much it's, what'd you do well? What didn't you do well? What'd you learn? And that's the approach. I learned that I cared too much what people think. I'm still all bottled up in that. I'm still, okay, next time. And it doesn't happen, okay. And then you gotta start chasing down where it came from because it's not just as so simple as I'm, I'm not gonna do that anymore. No, it's deep, man. It's deep. It's a wound, okay. So for some people, it's just a flesh wound. And for others, it's a gaping, ripping hole. The source of that fear the source of that lack. Okay, but man, for you to grow into your brilliance, you gotta solve it. You gotta, that's, so that's back to Sandy's teaching, which is it takes 20 years and a major part of that apprenticeship has nothing to do with acting and everything to do with overcoming your fears of what people think, however you have to do that. Whether it's in here, partly, outside, a relationship that helps do that, uh, therapy, uh, 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 Retreats, uh, three month walkabouts in your, I don't know. But you got it, you, it's your job too.